Hi guys, I am back. And so today we're going to talk about federal employees adopting the what is mindset. It's easy to live in fear and anxiety or the what if mindset. What if I never get a federal job? You know, what if I don't heal from that disease? What if I never meet the love of my life? Or what if this or that? We can we can stay in that world all day. The mind can be a battlefield. And we have to fight against anxiety and fear in the what if mindset with the word of God. We have to adopt the what is mindset. What is going on right now? Uh, what is a fact is that you do have a job. And so Philippians 4 and verses 8 and 9 says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Okay? They're talking about whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, whatever is excellence. If there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Verse 9 what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. So if you're thinking about positive things and what is, the fact is, you know, you do have a godly boyfriend. The fact is you do have a great job. The fact is you do have a godly girlfriend. The fact is you do have a godly husband or wife. Do you know how many people are out here looking for love, <laughs> you know, or looking for a job and you have that already? You know, and I understand you may want to get into the federal government and I know that's a process, you know, but we have to be thankful for what we have right now. Food on our tables. Eyesight to watch this video. Breath in our bodies. You know, we have to... Be thankful and look at the work experience that we already have and then transform that using the federal job announcement into federal keywords onto the resume that you have. And you may say, I don't know how to do that, seal the deal. Well, you can Google online resumes, federal resumes to get your resume like the federal um standard that they want the resume in. You can do that. You can get examples of that. You can study them. You can ask other federal employees for their resume. See if they'll give it to you. You know, I've had people tell me no, and I've had people tell me yes. Oh, and I made that copy of that resume so quick. You know, and they, they blotted out all of the um, names of the references and everything, but I didn't care. This person was in the federal government and I was trying to figure out how to get in. I was doing an internship one year and I asked a senior level person, can you review my resume? And she went through my resume, marking it up. Now, this was almost 20 years ago, you know, because I am a federal employee right now. Um, so praise be to God. Glory, glory, glory to God. So that stuff worked for me and it may work for you. I watch YouTube videos on um, the federal government process. I try to get knowledge because we know Proverbs 4 and 7 says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get an understanding of how the federal process goes. Amen, somebody? Amen. So some of you may be bored with your jobs and you may be spending too much time worrying about the past or worrying about the future. And if you're bored with your job, you need to attend some additional meetings at work. 
You need to create some assignments or, you know, organize some files or figure out a process that's going to help your manager. So your manager can say, hmm, this person is going the extra mile. They have godly conduct. You know, they have godly character. I want to promote this person. And I've seen that happen. You know, this gentleman, he created this elaborate spreadsheet of all the um, employees' names and he put some type of um, algorithm in there because at this particular federal agency, you had to check the attendance of the employee every day. You had to, you know, have that status in and the manager was having, you know, an archaic and hard time of getting that done. And so he created this system where, you know, it had checks in it, you know, if the employee was there and it had X and the dates. I mean, it was something that Albert Einstein could have created it, you know, and so he ended up getting promoted for that because he saw a problem that he had the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding to fix. And he was promoted. I saw it with my own eyes. He was actually made second in command, you know, and he was a regular employee like me. So, you know, we have to think of ways that we can help our managers, that we can help our coworkers, that we can improve processes, whether you're federal or not, and try to work towards making a difference and creating a solution for the office. Also, another way uh, to fill in your time on the weekend is volunteering virtually. You know, you can also, um, you know, work on your resume on the weekends, you know, find a passion or a hobby and wear it out, you know, after your work hours, you know, we have to get busy about uh, what is actually um, going on. You know, what is, is that you have those talents and you're able to help somebody else, you know, with um, putting a smile on their face. Some of you, you know, may need a therapist or counseling to stop the what if thinking or the negative thinking. You know, you can look up free ones online, you know, or support groups online. You know, you could try a gratitude journal to help you stay in the what is, you know, being thankful for your job. What is a fact is that we have life. What is a fact is that you have eyes to watch this YouTube video to get ideas about becoming a federal employee, to get ideas on how to get promoted on your job. Be thankful for your family and others that are close to you and that are your external support, you know, which is, you know, your boyfriend, your husband or your girlfriend or, you know, um, people like that in your life. You know, you can, set a, you can set a schedule for your day, even though you're working from home. You can write that up the night before, write down all of your goals, because that's what I did. And it worked for me. I was able to get things done um, and get them done in a timely manner. So I know this may be challenging um, to do, but I wanted to bring your awareness uh, to this. You know, you can try one thing. You don't have to try all things at once, you know, and I hope this has helped you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.